Okay, prototype design pattern. Prototype design pattern is good for when creating new objects requires more resources than you want to use or have available. You can save resources by just creating a copy of any existing object that is already in memory. Example, a file you've downloaded from a server may be large, but since it's already in memory, you could just clone it and work on the new copy independently of the original. In the prototype patterns interface, you create a clone method that should be implemented by all classes that use the interface. How the clone method is implemented in the concrete class is up to you. You will need to decide whether a shallow or deep copy is required. Okay, so the clone process is very specific to your use case. A good place to start considering this is whether you need a shallow copy or a deep copy. So a shallow copy copies and creates new references one level deep and deep copy copies and creates new references for all levels. So I'll demonstrate both of those in the concept example. Okay, so in JavaScript you have mutable objects such as arrays and dictionaries and sets and any custom objects that you may have created. So mutable means changeable. So a shallow copy will create new copies of your objects, whatever it is, with new references in memory. But the underlying data, example, the actual elements in an array will point to the same memory location as the original array or object being copied. Okay, so that was shallow copy. You will now have two arrays, but the elements within the arrays will point to the same memory location. So changing any elements of a copied array will also affect the original array. Be sure to test your implementation that the copy method you use works as expected. The shallow copies are much faster to process and deep copies and deep copies not always necessary if you are not going to benefit from using it okay so terminology in uml prototype interface the interface that describes the clone method there it is prototype the object product that implements the prototype interface so this is your class custom class contains anything you want but you want it to be clonable so you make it implement the i prototype interface which means you then must implement a clone method okay and the client application that uses and creates the prototype with the source code we will experiment with shallow and deep copies and it's only a very simple object to start with it will be an array of numbers okay so open the source code so source prototype prototype concept.ts okay so i'm in source prototype prototype concept.ts and there's the interface with the clone method that you must implement okay my custom class implements i prototype there's the clone method there and for starters we'll do a shallow copy and that's a good method to do a shallow copy object assign a brand new object this which is the instance of my class my class has one property called field which is a number array and when i instantiate a new my class i'm giving it the value of that field which is a number array this field equals the field that i've passed in okay the client object equals a new my class and that is the array that i'm giving object one and console log i'm using an inbuilt function json stringify which will print out that array nicely for us into the console object two object one dot clone and i'll print out object two now as an experiment first one will be a shallow copy i'll change one of the values in object two's array which is called field here i'm going to change element one to a different number and then print out both objects again and we'll see because i did a shallow copy i've actually affected object one's internal array as well so we can run that i'm running in tsc watch mode sort of compiled node dist prototype prototype concept js enter so object one i'm json stringifying it field one two three four object two i cloned it it's exactly the same i go up here i changed the element at one to 101 so there it is zero based but object one was also affected so that's a shallow copy if you're not copying arrays or dictionaries or mutable objects then a shallow copy of your class is probably okay okay next let's do a deep copy so comment that out and we'll use this one now this is a little bit of a javascript trick i'm json stringifying this instance of my class then i'm going to run it through json pass which will convert it back into an object again converts a javascript object notation string into an object so it doesn't matter how deep my class properties go whether how many arrays deep or dictionaries deep they go json pass json stringify will create a deep copy of the whole lot so let's test that out run that again there we go after changing object 2 field 1 to 101 object 2 is that but object 1 has remained unchanged okay it's a deep copy okay now one important thing to note here is that these two methods here neither of those copied any of the my class methods to the new my class so the clone method there wasn't copied to the new clone so i'll show that so i couldn't say const object 3 equals object 2 
dot clone, there would be an error there. Let's run that. There we go. Object to clone is not a function. Now the reason for that is because I didn't return a new my class in the same way that I would instantiate it. But that particular detail I'll discuss in the next video in the prototype use case where I'll clone a more sophisticated object. Now these two methods that I've shown here, they may be good enough for your purposes. Shallow copy is the bare, simplest, minimal copy. JSON pass, JSON stringify is a deep copy of any of the class's properties. In the next video, use case, I'll show you how to copy properties and methods using a more sophisticated object. But the technique will be roughly similar. Okay, excellent.